for all the devotees following the ideals of Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Sarada Devi and Swami Vivekananda, going for a pilgrimage to Belur Math, Dakshineshwar, Kamar Pukur and Jairambati is no less than going on a holy trip to Char Dham or the four main sites of pilgrimage as described in the scriptures. These four dhams related to Ramakrishna Vivekananda movement are indeed sacred sites, visiting which helps devotees to attain peace and bliss in today's world of chaos and turmoil. Myself, Pradipta Choudhury, is sharing glimpses of our recent trip to Belurmat, the Kineshwar, Kamar Pukur and Jairambati with all the viewers of this channel, Pradipta's musings through this video. If you like this video, do share with others and also please do subscribe to this channel. Haji Premanunde Mono We mother and daughter had embarked upon this Chardham Yatra as devotees of RKM during Guru Purnima this year on July 2023. <laughs> We reached Belur on the day before Guru Purnima and got accommodation in Vivekananda Atithi Nivas as pre-arranged by email. The neat and clean newly built guest house is at a very short walking distance from the Belur Mat premises and offers a comfortable pleasant stay for the devotees along with decent food during the stay. Today is Guru Purnima and this morning we attended the Mangal Arati and now I have shown you the beautiful sunrise that we can see from a balcony. There is Ganga and there is the sun. It's actually 5 am in the, in the morning and the view that you see outside is not just beautiful, it is beyond any words. On Guru Purnima day, we visited Belurmat very early morning to attend the auspicious Mangal Arati at 4 am. And the entire day we spent at the Mat premises. <laughs> Visiting all the temples and paying our homage to the holy personalities to whom the temples are dedicated. We took holy darshan of the most revered President Maharaj of RKM who is revered as the living image and representative of Sri Ramakrishna and who is also our Mantra Diksha Guru. We offered our pranams to him.
द नेक्स्ट डे वी वेंट टू दक्षिणेश्वर फ्रॉम बेलूर मठ बाया अ फेरी इक्रॉस द गंगा द फेरी राइड वॉज एक्सट्रीमली प्लेजेंट एंड सूदिंग फॉर द माइंड एंड सोल reaching dakshineshwar we visited the temple of ma bhavatarini kali and also the places sanctified by the divine presence of sri ramakrishna and sri sarada devi and their disciples ma chena rami achi bhavana ki ar ache ama we then visited sri sarada math dakshineshwar and offered our pranams at the temple there The next day we set out for Kamarpukur sacred birthplace and ancestral village of Sri Ramakrishna and on reaching the Arkam Math there we were offered accommodation in the old guest house which is located just on the other side of the Math premises very near to the Ramakrishna temple It's 5th of July, and today I am at Kamarpukur, the birthplace of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa, and I am staying at a guest house, which is very very near to the main temple, just a few steps from the main temple. It's a great feeling to be at the birthplace of the great Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa, Yuga Avatar. and i'm sharing the glimpses of the room where i am staying at kamarpukur we spent a whole day and the night attending all the activities like mangal aarti mantra chanting bhajans holy discourses evening aarti carried out by the monks and brahmacharis at the temple premises एट कामार पुकुर वी वेर डिलाइटेड टू हैव दर्शन एंड वर्शिप विद आवर ओन हैंड्स द होली शिवलिंगम एट Jugider Shiv Mandir which is associated with the birth of Sri Ramakrishna The Sri Ramakrishna temple at Kamarpukur has been built exactly on the sacred spot where Sri Ramakrishna was born दिए ना 
After our spiritually enriching stay at Kamar Pukur, we went to Joyrambati, the sacred birthplace of Holy Mother Sri Sarada Devi, and which is also her ancestral village. There, we were given accommodation in one of the rooms of the cottage known as Mayer Notunbadi, which has been sanctified by the presence of Holy Mother herself and was built for Holy Mother by Swami Saradananda, the great direct disciple of Sri Ramakrishna, who had served Holy Mother till her last days with his whole heart and all his means. In Holy Mother's room at Mayer Notunbari, Sri Ma Sarada Devi gave initiation and also Brahmacharya and Sannyasa to many spiritual seekers. In the other rooms attached to Mayer Notunbari, only women devotees were allowed to stay who used to come to visit the Holy Mother and stay in her holy company. We were very happy to experience this unique stay of ours in this holy cottage attached to Mayer Notunbari. It was as if we travelled back to the time when Sri Ma was in her mortal coil and could feel her divine presence during our stay there at Mayer Notunbari. At the end of our Chardham trip this time, we realized that we could not have completed our trip so smoothly while gathering such beautiful experiences unless and until there was unconditional grace and divine blessings of Sri Ramakrishna and Sri Sarada Devi showered on us. A devotee can visit holy pilgrimage sites not by own will and efforts but by the divine will of the deities presiding the sites of pilgrimage. While attending a discourse at Kamar Pukurmat during our trip, a monk giving the discourse was saying that it's not only that the devotees come to the holy sites to have darshan of their worship deities, but it is equally true that the deities also want to meet their devotees. It's indeed true that as the devotees are eager to meet their chosen deities, the deities too are equally eager to see and welcome the devotees to their abodes. Pilgrimage is a journey embarked upon by the devotees to feel proximity with their chosen deities and also to feel more connected with the lofty spiritual ideals transcending the limitations of mortal mundaneness. Thanks to all the viewers for being a virtual part of this spiritual journey embarked upon by us. May Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Sarada Devi and Swami Vivekananda bless us all.